Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the three-phase AC circuits. In three-phase AC circuits, today's topic is three-phase balanced star connected load. In three-phase balanced star connected load, we will see what is the relationship between phase and line voltages and the phase and line currents and the power relationships we are going to see. If you see the uh, uh, star connected diagram, this is the star connected load circuit diagram. So it is having the three phases. Phase A, phase B, phase C are connected in the form of star. That's why it is called as star connected load. So why it is called balanced that we will discuss. So this is the impedances. ZDA, ZB, ZC are the three impedances. The ZDA impedance of the phase A, because ZB is a phase B impedance and ZC is a phase C impedance. The ZDA, ZP, ZC are equal in magnitude because it is a balanced load. That's why ZDA, ZP, ZC are equal in magnitude. If we take the phase voltages, so here, see here, this is the VA is the phase voltage. Okay, phase A voltage. VB is the phase B voltage. And VC is the phase C voltage. Okay, all the phase voltages are equal in magnitude because it is a balanced star connected load. As it is a balanced star connected load, each and every parameter, if it is a line voltage, phase voltage, all are equal in magnitude. Now, if we see that these are the VA, VB, VC are the phase voltages. Okay, next. If you see the line currents, what is the line? Line current is line current means the voltage between any two phases is called as line voltage. See here, this is the phase A voltage, it is a phase B voltage. The voltage between any two phases is called as line voltage. VAB is the line voltage between phase A and phase B. Now, if we see the line voltage VBC, so this is the phase B voltage and it is a phase C voltage. In between these two phases, there is a voltage. That voltage is called as line voltage VBC. Okay. Now, if you see the phase voltage between VA and VC, okay, this is the line voltage. The line voltage is nothing but the it is a voltage between any two phases. The voltage between VA and VC that is called as VCA is called as line voltage. Okay, there are three line voltages, all are equal in magnitude. Simply, the line voltage is nothing but the voltage between any two phases. The voltage between phase A and phase B is VAB line voltage. Next, the voltage between phase voltage B and C is VBC. And the, this is the line voltage VCA, that is the phase voltage between VA and VAC. Now, come to the currents. IA is a current passing through the phase A. IB is a current passing through the phase B. IC is a current passing through the phase C. So IA, IB, IC are called as phase currents. Now, if you see the line currents, ILA and ILB, ILC are the line currents passing through the line A, line B and line C. Okay. So this is the circuit diagram of the three-phase balanced star connector load. If we see the parameters, VA, VB, VC are the phase voltages are equal in magnitude. If we take the line voltages, VAB, VBC, VCA, VAB, VBC, VCA are called as the line voltages. If we take the phase currents, IA, IB, IC are called as the phase currents, equal in magnitude. All are equal in magnitude and equal because they are balanced star connected load. Next, if we take the line currents, ILA, ILB, ILC, line current A, line current B, line current C, are also equal in magnitude. Because all the parameters are in equal in magnitude because it is a balanced. So if it is balanced, that's why we have to take all are in equal in magnitude. So this is about the three-phase star connected load diagram. Now, if we see the phasor diagrams and the relationships, we will discuss in the further slides. This is the circuit diagram. Now, if we from the figure, we can say that these line currents 
and phase currents both are same because there is no uh, current is dividing in between the line current and phase current so this is the phase a so here there is no dividing of the current for the phase a okay whatever the uh, a phase current is there the same line current is flowing through this phase a if we take the line current b and phase current b phase current ib and line current ilb both are flowing through this phase b only the current is not dividing into any other phases now if we take the live phase current c ic and the line current ilc it is related to phase c the both the currents are flowing to the phase c only the current is not dividing into other phases that's why we can say that from the figure line current is equal to phase currents both are same in the three phase star connected load line current and phase current both are equal but here we cannot say directly what is the relationship between line voltage and phase voltages but uh, that is we can say by using the phasor diagram we will get one equation from that equation we can say that now if we see the equations so here if we take the equations vab is equal to va minus vb observe here everyone vab is the combination of phase a and phase b this is a vector difference vab is equal to va minus vb if we take vbc vbc is a combination vbc is called as a first of all it is a line voltage it is a combination of phase b and phase c okay next if we take the vca vca is the line voltage it is in between the two phases that is vc and va vc minus va is equal to equation number 3 VAB is the line voltage that is VA minus VB. VBC is also called as a line voltage that is in between VB and VC. And VCA is also called as line voltage in between phase C and phase A. That is a phase voltage C and phase voltage A. These, these are the three equations. Okay. Here yeah, I am taking any one of the equation and I will draw the phasor diagram from the, from the phasor diagram and we will derive what is the relationship between phase voltage and line voltage. The main aim of this topic is we have to relate the relationship between line current and phase current and line voltage and phase voltage. So just now we haven't seen the relationship between line current and phase, phase current. For this, the, uh, there is no uh, derivation and there is no analysis is not required because we, from the figure we can say directly as both are going to the same phase there there is no dividing of the current so line current and phase current both are equal so now we will derive for the what is the relationship between line voltage and phase voltage by taking any one of the equation now here this is the general phasor diagram of the three phase supply this is the phase a the phase angle between phase a to phase b is 120 degrees Okay, after 120 degrees, phase B will start and there is a phase difference of 120 degrees to from phase B to phase C. So, this is a total from each and every phase, there is a 120 degrees phase angle difference. There are three phases, VA, VB, VC are the three phases. Now, from the equation number one, just now we haven't seen the three equations. From that, I am taking equation number one. I will draw the phasor diagrams. So, for this VA minus VB is equal to VAB. For this equation, I will draw the phasor diagram. I will get the phasor diagram like this. So, here, yeah, this is a general phasor diagram of the three phase uh, supply VA, VB and we, as we know VA, VB, VC, this is the phasor diagram of three phase supply. Uh, now, there, if, we, there, if we take the phasor difference here, the, from phase A to phase B, there is a 120 degrees phase shift and phase B to phase C, there is a 120 degrees phase shift and phase C to phase A, there is a 120 degrees phase shift. From this, we can say that from each and every phase, there is a 120 degrees phase shift. Now, we will apply this uh, equation in the phasor diagram. VA minus VB. So we have the VA here, but we don't have minus VB. That's why I'm taking the imaginary phasor here. This, this line indicates VB. If we take the imaginary line, we will get here minus VB. I'm taking the imaginary line here, image line. 
okay that is minus vb now we have the va and vb we have the v uh, sorry va and minus vb va and minus vb what is the resultant of va and minus vb that is vab that's why yeah, it is a va and that image line is minus vb the resultant is vab so if we combine that we will take the uh, we will get one uh, the circuit it is looking like a parallelogram so yeah this is va and it is minus vab and it is a resultant i am taking the resultant line here and uh, it will form one parallelogram the phase angle is here from va to vac the phase angle is 120 degrees at the, exactly at the middle it is what is the exactly at the middle 160 degrees from here to here it is 120 degrees exactly at the middle it is 60 degrees so from this we can say that the phase angle between VA and minus VB is 60 degrees. So as it is looking like a parallelogram by using the parallelogram equation and we will see what is VAB. So yeah, this is the phase angle diagram just now we got. If you, if you write the parallelogram equation, VAB is equal to under root of VA square plus minus of VB square plus 2 into VA into minus VB into cos theta. Here, what is the theta value? What is the phase angle between VA and minus VB? This is 60 degrees. That's why I'm writing cos 60 directly. Okay, VA square plus minus VB square plus 2 into VA minus VB cos 60. The phase angle between VA and minus VB is cos 60 degrees. This is a parallelogram equation. Now, if we know that each and every phase voltages are equal in magnitude. So that's why instead of minus VB, I will write VA. Minus VB will become plus VB if we apply here. And uh, instead of VB, I will write VA here. Okay, because we know the formula, e, e, uh, all are equal in magnitude. That's why instead of VB, I will write VA. VA square plus instead of minus VB, I am writing VA square only. 2 into VA into instead of minus VB, I will write VA into cos 60. We know that 1 by 2. We are 2 to get cancelled and VA square plus VA square that is 2 VA square plus VA square. So total 2 VA square plus VA square it will become 3 into VA square. Here square and root both are cancelled. Finally, we will get VAB is equal to root 3 times of VA. Here VA is, is called as phase voltage in the star connected load. VA is called as phase voltage and VAB is called as line voltage. From this we can see clearly that in the three phase star connected load V line voltage is equal to root three times of V phase voltage. We got the line current and line, uh, line, uh, line current and phase current relationship and now just now we got line voltage and phase voltage relationship okay now if we combine all the three equations in the previous slide we have seen by taking only one equation how the phasor diagram we get if we take the three equations at a time we will get the phasor diagram like this okay this phasor uh, this resultant diagram is for equation number one just now we have seen if we take the equation number two see here we will get the phase, uh, resultant phase diagram like this this is the equation number three for this is for equation number three okay now sorry this is equation number two and it is equation number three observe here equation number one is va minus vb va minus vb we don't vb is here we don't have minus vb that's why we are drawing one imaginary line and Minus VC. See here, we have the VC, but we don't have minus VC. That's why we will draw the imaginary line here. And we have VA, but we don't have minus VA. That's why this is minus VA is the one line, imaginary line. Now, if we apply the equation number one here, equation number one is equal to VA minus VB is equal to VAB. VA minus VB is equal to resultant is VAB. So, I am I am extending it line extending these lines to here from VAB to VAB from VA to VAB and we will get one parallelogram line parallelogram diagram now next 
if we apply the equation number 2 here, what is equation number 2? Vb minus Vc. So, we have Vb and it is minus Vb here. Okay. Now, uh, this is the Vb. And where is minus Vc? We are having minus Vc. We have the Vc and minus Vc is here. The resultant of Vb and minus Vc is what? Vbc. This is related to equation number 2. Simple. So here we have the Vb and minus Vc is here. What is the resultant of these both? Vbc from equation number 2. Now we will apply equation number 3 here. In the equation number 3, we have Vc. Okay, Vc is here. And Va, if we, if we take the imaginary line, we will get minus Va. So we have Vc and minus Va. What is the resultant? Vca is the resultant. Okay, VA and minus VB is equal to VAB according to equation number one, and VB and minus VC is equal to VBC according to equation number two, and VC and minus VA is equal to VCA that is according to equation number three. If we combine all the three equations in the phasor diagram, we will get the phasor diagram like this. Okay, this is the phasor diagram, total phasor diagram of three phase balanced star connected load. So, up to now, what we have got here in the three phase balanced star connected load from the diagram, we have seen that directly we can say that line current and phase current both are equal in magnitude. Sorry, uh, both are equal. And next, line current is equal to root three times of phase voltage. Just now we have seen by using the phasor diagram. Line current, phase current both are equal and line voltage is equal to root 3 times of phase voltage. If you see the power equation, we know the general power formula power is equal to 3 into V phase phase voltage into uh, phase current into cos pi. This is a normal phasor diagram. But here, what is the phase voltage is equal to? Phase voltage is equal to, if we take this root 3 to this side, we will get line voltage divided by root 3. And I phase we will replace by I line because both are equal. Now we will replace V phase by V line by root 3. Okay. So 3 into V phase I am replacing with V line by root 3 into I phase I am replacing with I line because both are equal. Next, cos pi is as it is. Now if you simplify further here, 3 I can write it as root 3 into root 3 into VL. IL cos pi divided by root 3. Here root 3, root 3 cancel. Finally, the power equation we will get root 3 into VL IL cos pi. Okay. So, from this we can say that the phase uh, powers in terms of phase voltage and phase current is 3 into V phase I phase cos pi. Now, if we write the power equation in terms of line voltage and line current, we will get root, root 3 into VL IL cos pi. Okay, simply here, it is 3 is replaced by root 3 in terms, if we write in terms of line voltage and line currents. So this is about the powers in terms of the phase voltage and phase current. This is the power in terms of line voltage and line current. So this is about the total about the three phase star connected load. In three phase star connected load, line current and phase current both are equal. And the line voltage is equal to root three times of phase voltage. And this is the power in terms of phase current and phase, uh, phase voltage. And this is the power in terms of line voltage and line current. Okay. Thank you everyone. This is about the balanced star connected load. In the next class, we will see balanced delta connected load.